All right, so the last topic that we're going to cover is the process of hemostasis, which is the process that by which your body stops bleeding when you have started bleeding. It's a five-step process that involves a vascular spasm, which involves your blood vessels sort of contracting, uh, a platelet plug, coagulation, clot retraction and repair, and then finally fibrinolysis. So the first step is vascular spasm. Um, if a blood vessel is injured, and we're going to abbreviate blood vessel BV from here on out, is injured, um, the endothelial cells, which are the cells that line the inside of the blood vessels, um, release chemicals that cause the smooth muscle in those blood vessels to constrict. Um, and the idea behind this is that the hole in the blood vessel becomes smaller and that causes um, a decreased blood loss. It will also cause blood to squirt out um, because that blood that uh, vessel is retracting um, and so it increases sort of decreases the diameter. It's like having a tiny hole in a hose. Um, it just sort of shoots out. So if you get a good, good cut, it can really kind of spurt out there out of a blood vessel. But the purpose of that is that it's decreasing their blood loss, which is a positive. So the second thing that happens is that those uh, chemicals that were released uh, expose the endothelium and that is going to cause your platelets, which if you look at this picture here, um, the red blood cells are here. This is actually an scanning electron micrograph of a clot, um, like a blood, like a scab. Um, so you have red blood cells, which look like the little red donuts that we are familiar with now, hopefully. Um, the fibrin, which is the, um, is the protein that cause that sort of makes the tough part of a scab. And then the little purple guys on top of it are the platelets. And the platelets are going to stick to the exposed blood vessel and the explode that's those endothelium. So those endothelium endothelial cells are going to release a chemical called von Willenbrand factor, which again proves that you should find something and name it after yourself because of von Willenbrand um, found this chemical, discovered this chemical and named it after himself. And it causes the platelets to stick to the exposed collagen of the uh, blood vessels. And remember that the platelets are the drivers of clotting. Um, so when they get there, they are going to form this platelet plug, but they are also, they're going to do that by releasing their granules. Cause remember that they are, they do have granules in them cause they come from that megakaryocyte. Um, the granules do a bunch of different things. So they are going to increase the vascular spasm. So they're going to cause, they're going to, they're positive movers. They're going to make this process more extreme. They are going to, um, cause the smooth muscle to contract more. They're going to attract more platelets and they're going, and they're going to make those platelets also release those granules. Um, there's the, what's happening now is that your body has a hole in it. The blood vessel, your blood is, you know, literally your life force is leaking out of you and you need to stop that. So there's no, uh, too much in this scenario. You want to make that stop. So you want more and more. It's cause a po called a positive feedback mechanism. So platelets, get more platelets to come in, recruit more platelets, and eventually they, they will plug up the hole with the next thing, coagulation. So the platelets are going to release chemicals that are going to cause a cascade of reactions and those that cascade of reactions um, are going to make the fibrinogen that's floating around in the plasma turn into solid fibrin. So in this picture, red blood cells, little blue platelets, and then this is the 
solid fiber and it's like a net and it's very sticky and it sticks to the red blood cells and it sticks to the blood vessels and it causes a net like think spider-man-ish um and causes that net to hold back the red blood cells and we're going to go back a picture um you can see see this red blood cell see how it's like literally these red blood cells are being held back um so it's it forms a net that is finer than the red blood cells. So like the holes are smaller than the red blood cells. And so the red blood cells can't get out. Um, so this can happen two ways. Um, if you have a blood vessel that's torn and the collagen is exposed, that's called an intrinsic pathway. Um, but tissue can be damaged outside the blood vessel, but the um, inside isn't, ex isn't damaged that can still cause an extrinsic um, reaction. Either way, clotting happens. All right, so let's see if we can get this inside our... Hmm. Nope. 